you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures to you. Have the guts to do it. Just, just like you, you did not have the guts to stop them, Lucius. Coward. That is exactly what you are. The biggest coward of all time. You asked them to leave the room because I'm scared. I couldn't do it now. Look, 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 look. I don't have time for this type of episodes. I'm going now for the meeting. I believe you can handle it. Yes, I call them episodes. And please leave me alone. Take care of it. Yes. Bye bye. Let her say it's Bianca, Bianca, Bianca. Hey, Bianca, your mom has been calling. She said you should call her as soon as you are Please, tell her later. She said it is very urgent. Please. Please. Hello? Hello, mommy. Mommy, I'm on set. 
Can I call? Okay, can I call you back? Can I call you back, please? But I've not finished now. I can't come home now. <sighs> Mommy, it's not as if I don't care. I care. But I can't just walk out of set now. I'm already having problems with them. If I walk out now, though, I'm sure they'll take me to world court. <laughs> Mommy, please. Idara is just putting you on high jump. There's nothing wrong with her. The problem is that you give her too much attention. That's her problem. Please. She won't do anything. Okay, where is she right now? She's sleeping. Hey, let her sleep. Let her sleep. I'm sure she will not do anything foolish. All right, mom. Mommy, don't worry. Don't worry. She won't do anything foolish, eh? I'll see you later. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later when I finish, eh? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Please, please, I don't... Do, just... Mama, I'm just calling you. I'm just calling you. Send it already. There's nothing wrong. Just hold on my clothes. Let me go. All right, I have a dry run and then we take action. You cannot walk out on me now, Sandra. I mean, not after all I've invested in this relationship. You should have thought about that when you went about kissing Ada. Goodness, kiss? That was a peg for God's sake. I did. How many times would I have to explain that to you? Sandra, please listen. Look, listen. Ben, I will not be taken for a fool. You can't just open your mouth and say rubbish eh, or just utter nonsense and you expect me to take it. Cut, 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 cut. <sighs> Sandra, what's the problem? You're mixing up your lines. Mixing what? Your lines. You're mixing your lines. I thought so. She would not even let me drop my last lines. <sighs> Bianca, we've been on this scene for more than an hour now. What is the problem? I don't understand, Director. Must I deliver the lines the way it is written on the script? I was only rephrasing. After all, it means the same thing. No! The same thing. They do not mean the same thing! <gasps> Doesn't mean the same thing. You're trying to have an upper hand here, and you're not supposed to. I've told you the character you're playing is meant to be mellow, pliable, and soft. Not the pound bitch! Makeup! I told you not to give this girl this hair. Why would you do that? I'm gonna fire you. I'm gonna fire your ass. Are you listening? Now, try and help yourself and help us. I've told you this character is soft, mellow, and pliable. Don't make her into a bitch because she's not. So you take yourself out of this character and play the role for me. You're wasting everybody's time. Do not. Okay? Thank you. In other words, you're calling me a bitch. That wasn't what I was saying. All I was saying... I heard you loud and clear. I heard what you said. Loud and clear. Director, if you don't want me to do the job, why don't you say so instead of finding faults in every little thing I do? Don't I have the right to interpret the character the way I choose? No, 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 no. I am the director on this set and I tell you as my artist what to do. Now you do the job, and I've told you that this script says you no, 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 that's a beg, a beg, Shut, a beg, shut a beg. up when I talk to you! Shut up! Now, as a director, I tell you, you are soft, you are mellow, you are pliable. Not the bitch you're trying to turn this character into! Alright? Do this job! Actress! God! Alright! Yeah. Alright, we're all taking a turn. Resting right now. And I'll be back. And we're gonna do this thing in 15 minutes. Otherwise, I'm gonna start kicking some black asses. Oh my god. It's the actress, Bianca, or whatever you call yourself. Please stop all this nonsense you're doing. And let's do the job we're being paid to do. What's wrong with you? You're wasting everybody's time. What is wrong with you? Get lost. Damn. I heard. Did you hear that? Scram. God. What if you say somebody's gonna really bring some sense into you and I suspect that person is gonna be me? Start actress my foot. Do mm. with her. I don't understand this girl, sir. Just the top two players. <laughs> Five minutes. Okay, Sandra. It's okay. 
I would not let you go, no matter what happens, okay? But I'm going to ask you one thing. What? See, you have to stop jumping into conclusions, you know? I mean, try and get your facts right before you react. I know, I'm sorry. It's just that I love you so much and I don't want any woman to come near you. I know, baby. I really I know. love you. I know. Till I, I die, too, I love you. I know, I know. I love you too, okay? And I will not let you go. Baby, trust me, I love you, okay? Come on. Come on! Alright, this is a wrap for today. No, See you tomorrow. Me. God bless you. Okay, no, people, listen up. Call time is 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, and I do not want any lateness. Please, Emeka, I can't come in the morning. I have a doctor's appointment. And we have a job to do, Bianca. I repeat, 7.30 a.m. call time tomorrow morning. Emeka, why are you behaving like this? I thought I told you I wasn't going to come in, in, in the morning, that you should shadow me for Thursday afternoon. Why, why, why are you saying all this? Bianca, you did not tell me anything. And let me tell you something, Bianca. We do not have anything to shoot tomorrow morning without you. So, please... I beg of you, be on set first thing tomorrow morning, 7.30. We do not want to wait for anybody. Rubbish. Director, director, please, please, please. You really have to talk to your production manager. I don't like the way he talks to me. One of these days, I'm going to flip. What is it now? I told him the other day that I have a doctor's appointment Thursday morning. He should shadow me for afternoon. And he agreed. Now he's saying something else. Why is he acting up like this? Director, please, I am not going to be here until 12 noon. Please. Cynthia, please get my bag. Let me get out of this, please. See, Director, with all due respect, you have to talk to this girl. All this nonsense has to stop. I mean, this cannot continue. So everybody's got what they want to do. I mean, we, if we were paid to do this job, then we have to do it diligently. It's imperative that we have to do it and stop all these personal things that we're bringing to our job. Okay, Rick, don't worry. I'll handle it, okay? But, Director, you're not handling it properly. You're doing it with a kid's glove, and this will not work. I mean, you're allowing this girl to get out with anything. It's not supposed to, Why are you using this girl anyway? I mean, there's so many actresses on the street. Why don't you pick anyone and use? What do you want me to say? They say she's the hottest face in town now. Damn! Hot face? Anybody could be a hot selling face, okay? If they do their homework properly. I mean, These so-called hot selling faces are the ones that still cause problems on set and give everybody a headache. Oh, Rick, Rick, you go, you go tell them, okay? Tell them. All right, please, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm tired. I'm freaking tired now. Guys, please, let's just get out of this. Place. I mean, God, this light, this light is still on. I want to this problem. What are you talking about? Pack these things now. Please, don't have this. Let me get out of this. And come, guys, hold on the phone. Come on, move this chest. What are you doing now? Take this thing. That's still looking. Yeah. Ha! See, I, I've told you, I don't want lazy people on my set. What's all this rubbish? So, Daddy, how far? Ah, girl, I have been able to convince them that it is just proper to make use of people in your field for our campaign. Good. Bianca, I want you to get me the five most popular stars in the industry and uh, you will lead them on a campaign through the South-South States and I'll be paying you Two million naira each for every month that you are there. That is great, Daddy. That is wonderful. To have stars back you up in your campaign, I'm sure we'll put in our best. Daddy, the whole movie industry is going to put its weight behind you during this period. As long as you promise to support us during your tenure. Oh, I will definitely do that. I am told that the that Nollywood is number three in the world now. When I get into office, I am going to pump in billions into that industry to make sure that it becomes number one. That's my dad, the president himself. That's me! Daddy, Daddy you've already won. I There's know. no two ways about I it. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, Daddy, I want my car. You, you promised buying me a car for one year now and I haven't seen my car. Now you listen, I will only buy you a car when you stop being crazy around the house. Is it my fault? And maybe if you bought a car for me, I wouldn't behave crazy. I will not buy you a car unless you become a responsible lady. Look at me. 
a university dropout. What do you need a car for? Hey, you want to go for Bianca? You want you want to take car for Bianca? Why is now different? Anyway, I will not buy you a car. So you better leave me alone now because I have some discussion with your sister Bianca. This is not fair. Oh. This is not fair. This is not fair. How come you never give me any attention in this house? Eh? It's not fair. Nitaya, just shut up. Maybe when you start doing something positive with your life, like I have, then you can have your much needed car. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't see any need for it. I was not talking to you, superstar. Campaign manager, my foot. Drama queen. She always makes me feel so unwanted with her big star attitude. Always telling that what to do and what not to do. See if I'm not a member of that family. I feel so unloved. Dara, that isn't true. You know, I'm, I'm here now. I love you very much. I love you so much, okay? I know. And I love you too. I thank God for bringing you into my life. Oh, me too. I thank God for you. Because my love for you is growing worse and stronger every day. I just love you. Sister, I, sister, you're welcome. <laughs> you're, you're, you're quite early today. Yes, I'm very early. But where I work, this is when I normally close. <laughs> Apparently, you've been too busy. You didn't notice time had passed. <laughs> Hello. This one that you're looking good. I hope you're feeling better today. <laughs> I'm sorry for what happened the last time. It will never happen again. I really hope it doesn't happen again. Uh, sister, you're welcome. Thank you. I don't know what I've done to deserve this kind of treatment for my family. They just dismiss everything I say or do I say if I don't even exist. There are some times we love going overboard. I mean, we do have so much patience. What do you mean by I have too many issues? If you were in my shoes, wouldn't you have issues? If everything happens, if anything happens in the house, I just turn it around and make it look like it is my fault. Can't you remember what I told you about what happened to me when I was raped? What my father did to me? Mm -hmm. He threw me out of the house. What for my aunt? Well, I've been ruining the streets by now. Probably a full blown man woman. Yeah. Did you have the abortion? Get her! 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 Get Get her! 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 But you have to understand that she is the victim here. And we cannot just throw her out. We have to support her. We are her family. For goodness sake, Ima, the girl was raped. Ima, that is her story. Is that the truth? Is that the truth? From the very minute she set foot into the university, she, she started looking for men. Yes! I told 
you not to let her stay on campus. But you will not listen to me as usual. You will not listen to me. See what she has done now. See what she has done. She has disgraced us. Eh? Rape. Who raped her? Who raped her? I want to send her out there to go and look for the man who raped her. When she has found him, let her stay with him. But if you think she's going to stay in my house, impossible. Impossible. Let her. Let her. Let her. Bless my mother. She's always been there for me. My mother has made this house bearable for me. Dad, did you still have the abortion? No. The doctor said I miscarried it. Thank God. Thank God for little messes. It's just that I've not been the same since then. I've been in a terrible state of mind. The worst of it all is that my father doesn't even believe that I was raped in the first place. And my elder sister thinks I'm, I'm a nuisance. And now my mother is beginning to think that I might just be a bit crazy. Can you imagine? No, you can't blame them. I mean, why sometimes you always act crazy? You can't blame them. But what do I do? What do I do when I get so, so depressed? What do I do? Dara, yeah. you have to let go of this. I am begging you. The way you lay your bed, that's the same way you're going to lie on it. Dara, yeah. you just have to move on. I am begging you, please. Just move on. Please. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> well, from where I stand, it doesn't look like you are. Or did she break something else today and you're scared to tell me? Come off, sister. She was just having a bad day that day. Can't you let it rest? It rest, then. Do you have any idea how much I bought that flowers in London? That that silly girl came and... No, 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 sister. That's the girl I plan to marry. God forbid, but I need a sister. I'm going to marry Ida. Chime Chetam, listen to me carefully because I will not repeat myself again. First of all, you're not ready for marriage. Secondly, you do not have a job yet. Or were you planning to marry while staying in my house? This is the sixth month since you finished your NYSC. Go out there and get yourself a job. And leave love alone for now. Uh, sister, um. I'm really, really trying. But you have to understand that right now, I, have, I also have to be there for Ida. She needs all the support she can get. You're not listening to me at all. That girl is bad news. Coupled with the fact that she has a problem. Only God knows what it is. I thought it was over between you guys and I didn't see her here for a while. Wow. I, I had to give her some time to calm down. That's the reason why I stayed away from her for a little while. Not because I don't love her one time in my life. Because the truth of the matter is this. I love her very much. Sister, most times we don't have choices when it comes to love. Tell me more about it. And we don't even have the power to decide who to love. Love just happens. And I happen to know more about that love than you do. So snap out of it. Pay attention. We are all we have. You and I. So, you don't need this right now. Here. Take your CV back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you so much. I meant what I said about that girl. Okay, sis. Yeah. <laughs> 
Please, please. Simba, I really don't know why you are beating the roof. The more you deny this problem with Dara, the more difficult it will be to solve. All I'm suggesting is All you are saying is that I should commit my daughter into an asylum. Do you have any idea how my political opponents will use this information? Uh, certainly not. I did not say commit her to an asylum. I said we need to get her a doctor. She's really getting out of hand. Why? Because she says she wants to kill herself. How many times has Idara said that? Exactly. Please don't tell me this is all about my sweet little sister as usual. Kokoma. Your mother wants to commit your sweet little sister into an asylum. Oh my god. I can just imagine the headlines. Nollywood star actress Bianca Bass's sister at Yaba left. Daddy, that is not good for my PR. Oh. I just need Batman the one day they wrote about me last week and and the, 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 the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you. Turn everything around to be about you. I cannot believe this. I mean, how selfish can you two be? I'm talking about a life here. And all you can think about is how it affects your career. How can you be so heartless? Mommy, there is nothing wrong with Idara. If you stop over pampering her for one second, then you can see that. She had better be in the best of her behaviors this coming week because I won't have Calvin thinking on healthy thoughts about this family. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear. As usual, you are right. Look, I don't want to have any of this matter discussed in this house again. My family is an integral part of my campaign. A perfect family, or rather, what a perfect family should be. <laughs> Please don't make me laugh. A perfect family. Why don't you think of our relationship like a bank? You know, one in which I am the only one who is always paying emotionally and you are only withdrawing, you never contribute anything emotionally. Oh. Nice words to use. I now see where Idara gets a over vivid imagination from. The drama runs in the family, at least from your own end. I sent you for your master's degree because I wanted you to have a befitting status as a first lady. Not for you to come and begin to use flowery language on me. Daddy, please, let's not blow this out of proportion. Idara needs nothing but a good spanking. Certainly one of these days, I'll be the one to give her that good spanking. I'll beat the hell out of her. So it's not me out of her to do it. Coco Ma, shut up your vain mouth. Who even got you into this conversation anyway? Listen to me, young lady. One of these days, you and I are going to put our legs inside one trouser. And that day, you will tell me who carried who for nine months. Mom. Nollywood star. Patrida! Listen, I am dead serious. If you will not do anything about this problem, I will. My daughter's life is much, 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 much more important than your political career. I'll be there to pick you up. <laughs> Alright. 
Yes, I'm your sweet darling. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to see you, okay? I love you. No way, I love you more. <laughs> All right, baby. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mwah. Did you catch that? Not to you. <laughs> bye. 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 Uh. me anymore charity we have talked about this before all this relationship thing is in your head come on what we had is a location fling and it happens every now and then chide yes and what we had i apologized for listen it just makes me upset and very angry when you turn everything into the romance drama of the year i don't like it come out <sighs> This is about the script I didn't send to you, is it? Jide, this, this is about, about you sleeping with me, Jide. I turned around to call it a location fling. You, you insult me, Jide. You, you insult... It, it, it's not that you... I was in love with you. I would have slapped you. Yes, not minding the fact that you're my director. my heart to you. And, and what do I get? Jide, you're not being fair to me. Can't you see I'm hurting? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't just... I, hey, Charity. Charity, come on. Come on. Yeah? It's okay. Right. It's okay. Okay? I thought this was an office. Why don't you guys get a room? <sighs> Why don't you mind your own damn business? Mm hmm, baby B. Did you get the script I sent to you? Don't call me that. I got the script and I came to discuss my program. I don't want any problem or set, like the other set. Um, maybe I should come back. No. Mm. Why? Can't you say what you came here to say? What is your business? I wasn't talking to you. Come to think of it, why don't you get out of the office and let my director and I discuss business? I beg your pardon. You heard me right. Uh, Charity, Charity, that, that's enough, okay? Just excuses. What? I said excuse us! Alright? As she said we have business to talk about, we'll continue our discussions later on. Don't forget to take your bag. <laughs> Such emotion. So all he wanted to do was to join me in your very long list. I don't have a list. I don't. Look, forget about this director-actor relationship. You know I am crazy about you. I am. <laughs> You can laugh all you want, but my feelings towards you are real. Oh my goodness. You. Your so-called feelings will stop you from sleeping with any girl, I mean any actress, that gives you the green light. Your imaginations are so inventive. Which is one of the reasons I love you so much. <sighs> Please. Alright. 
Give us a chance, okay? I promise you will not regret it. Chide, please don't promise me anything. Come to think of it, I don't need anything from you. How many times do I have to spell it out to you that I have a boyfriend who is coming back very soon? Now, this is where I get upset with you actresses. Oh. This is where I have a problem with you girls! We pick you up from nowhere, we spend time and money to make you into what you are now. Actresses, stars, the people watch and love. Now all of a sudden people come from Europe, America, Jamaica, wherever, calling themselves your boyfriend, they want you. And you just dive into it. What happens to us? Now what happens to us? You just don't get it. Maybe I didn't use the right words. I have a fiance, whom if I might add, is due back on Tuesday. We are getting married soon. <laughs> now, do we discuss what I came here for or do we continue discussing my love life? No, please, you are useful to me. Please, honey. I want to die. I love you, Daddy. Please, nobody likes me. But I don't. I, I love you. I love you very much. Please, your family don't like me. My father doesn't like me. My sister hates me. Honey, no, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. But you know, I love you, and I will do so forever. Please, just try and calm down, honey. I know my mother is beginning to support them. I can't bear life without you. Just, just try and calm down. Look, look at me, honey. Look at me. Please don't do this, honey. Please, honey. Please don't do this. Please, just try and calm down. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. No, please don't do this to me. Hold on, please. Why are you doing all this, honey? Just tell me what you want, eh? Tell me what you want. I'll do it to all you as what you want, honey. What you want? Just try. Honey, stop all this and calm down. Calm down from that place, honey. I have to go to where there is peace. No. Yeah, buddy, please, please calm down. What now, is this? Oh, thank God you're here. Idara wants to kill herself. She, she, she's going to drop. Please talk to her, please. Talk to her, please. <laughs> Just talk to her. <laughs> so, because of the little quarrel we had inside the house, you want to jump down? You want to jump down? <laughs> Don't worry. It's up with me. Don't worry, eh? What, what, what are you trying to do? You can't do this. No, you me. can't. I said excuse me. Do you know Take that? this matter away from here. Take it out, Sergeant. Do you want to die? You want to die, Abby? I don't want anything to hinder your fall. Please, just fall, eh? Please do me one favor. Make sure you crack your skull, eh? To your Give me that one. This, this is not nice. What is it? So you really want me to die? So I really want you to die. Yes, please die and let me rest. Right. Don't turn this into her, okay? Let me get the ladder for you. Hey, please calm down. Hold it, hold it. Get her, okay? I love you. I love you very much. Okay? I'm sorry. 
house for the next two weeks so if you're planning a repeat performance of your junk drama or your usual thing I suggest you move your things to Chatham's place Kevin my fiance is coming back tomorrow oh. and he'll be coming to meet the family for the very first time so my advice is that if you will not behave yourself like someone with some sense of self-worth for the very first time in your life then don't come anywhere near this house on that day. Because if you do, I swear to God, Idara, if you do anything to spoil my happy evening, Idara, <laughs> I just run away because it will take me some days to find you. And when I find you, yours truly will kill you. <laughs> wow, that is... Just shut your mouth because nothing, no logical explanation comes out of it. Move your things to Chetam's place, alright? Because he can stand you. And how he can, I do not understand. And quite frankly, I don't care. Just don't do anything stupid. Now, will you get out of my sight? Right! But first of all, you have to tell me what movie you're doing. No, no, no. Who are you acting with this time? Is it RMD? That's my Deloitte? No, I think I have it. Um, I can't pop <laughs> Oh, honestly, honestly, this really fits you. <laughs> Come back here and drop my script, please. Come back here and drop my script. Amazing. I could have died, you know. <laughs> Wait, excuse me. Were you just joking or you were just... Were you actually going to jump there? So you really think I could go to the rooftop and threaten to kill myself just because I want to prove a point, right? Then why didn't you jump now? Eh? Why didn't you jump? Tell me. I don't have liver. Yeah. Do you what think it's easy to die? Then why do you keep on threatening to do so? Why do you even have the courage to do so? Honestly, I don't know why I do these things. I just wish I could just sleep and never wake up. I get scared of waking up in the morning. Dad, please, don't even go there. Look at you. You have everything every human being rich for. Your father is rich. And he might likely be the next president of this country. You have a superstar as a sister. And to call it all, you have an adorable boyfriend. What more do you want from life? What do you mean by what do I need in life? Do you think everything is about money? <laughs> your father is going to be the president. Your sister is a super... Who cares about that anyway? Do you have any idea of the emotional turmoil I go through every day? 
Do you know what that rude incident has done to my life? Dada, it is four years. Let it go. I can't let it go. I mean, it's not easy to let things like that go. You go can and you must, for God's sake. Look at you. Did you drop out of school because of this incident? Dara, I am begging you as a friend, let it go and move on with your life. That's my best advice for you. There's no point talking to you because you don't understand. In fact, you will never understand. Not in a million years. Just one of them. I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Baby, can't we have this dinner tomorrow? I mean, I'm tired. You know, jet lag and all that. You know the drill. But honestly, I just want to spend today with you. You can't imagine how much I've missed you. I missed you too. But remember you were the one who wanted this over and done with. In fact, you insisted I arrange the dinner for today. So why, 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 why are you changing your mind? Or do you have cold feet? Cold, cold, cold feet? I don't have cold feet. So what is it? What, what if your family do not like me? Baby, they will adore you. I love you, okay? That for them is enough. Ah, oh, Kevin, I'm driving! And you have to promise is that. Don't worry, you'll be fine, alright? As a matter of fact, they're not home now, so you have time to freshen up, do what you want to do. Then we'll meet them up for dinner, alright? Well, it's so good to be back home, you know? Yeah. You just go for some few years, and everywhere changes. And some things only get better. An accountant, yes, sir. And um, I hope you are what she says you are. <laughs> I hope to, sir. I hope so, too. But then it is left for you to judge. However, sir, I would like to state at this point that I think your daughter is a very, very special woman, and I'm willing to spend the rest of my life totally dedicated to making her the happiest woman that I ever walked on earth. Your permission, sir. I will drink to that. <laughs> well said. But I hope you are not one of those smooth type who are all talk and no substance. Not at all, ma'am. Not at all. I am as real as they come. Okay. You know, ma'am, looking closely now, I can tell where Bianca got her poise and her charm from. It's a great pleasure to meet you. You know, he's always talking about family this and family that. But meeting you now finally justifies every word she's ever said to me about you. I think you have a wonderful family here and it will be a great honor for me to become part of you. Bianca deserves nothing but the best. And I'm willing to give her nothing but the best. Idara, you are late. Dara, would you stop and 
Marcus is a monster! Go back to your room now. I said go back to your room right now. Honey, I'm truly sorry for the embarrassment. My sister gets like this one of uh, you know, and I guess this is one of those times. Oh, I'm sorry for the embarrassment. How many times should I tell you before that? I'm not mad. This man, this man is the reason why I'm in this situation. And I will expose you. I will you not get out of this place. You can beat me if you want. What you want. Do whatever you want. But you will not stop me from telling the truth. Oh God. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you, Lord. Have you seen your life? Have you seen your life? Have you seen the way the way God has exposed you? Oh, you you actually thought that you know you could commit such a crime and just walk away with it? Hell no, Daddy. Did you know that evil? It's a way of, you know, catching up with it, do us. Itara. It's true. And it has brought this bastard to the doorstep of the very girl he raped four years ago. What? Rent? No, this is absolutely preposterous. I, 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 can you believe the outrage? Look, sir, I've not laid my eyes on this lady until today. How could I have raped you? No, oh, just shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Daddy, this is the guy. This is the guy that raped me four years ago. He raped me over and over and over and over again. Got me pregnant and just, just disappeared. Giving me disillusion, making me the scorn of everyone, making me a laughing stock, making me the scorn of everybody, making me laughing stock. Now this shows up and wants to make my sister happy. How can a swine make my sister happy? How can a swine make my sister happy? Rapist. Rapist from the bottomless pits of hell. Descendant of Satan. Love. Please take your daughter away from me. Mom, I said take this girl away from me. Mom, my senses are intact and I know exactly what I'm saying. That is the man! 
man was with me. I have his face imprinted in my mind forever because he destroyed me. He destroyed my innocence. He robbed me of the right to live like a normal human being. How can I ever forget a face like that? How can I forget that kind of face? Sweetie, sweetie calm down. You have to stop saying this. You are mistaken. Maybe he looks like the man who raped you. But the young man I saw was a decent young oh, man. Oh, it was. Uh, you are causing your, mom, your sister such distress. What I'm about the distress that I am going through? I am not lying. I know what I'm saying. That is the man that raped me. And all I want is for justice to be done. Maybe I will get well again when justice is done. Coco Ma, where are you going? I am going to put up with a friend till I get my own apartment. I cannot stay under the same roof with this witch. Coco Ma, please, do not take any hasty decision. Let us all sit together and talk this thing over. Running away from your family is never the answer. Mommy, what is the answer? You expect me to sit down and watch this thing destroy my future? Can't you see she's a destroyer? I'm not trying to spoil anything for you. I'm your sister. I should be happy that you're getting married. But then I found out that the man you're getting married to is not what he presented himself to be. And I feel it's my right as your sister to warn you. That man is a rapist. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of lunacy in you. You witch. Mommy, I'll call you later. kind of division you want to bring into this family. Ida, what am I going to do with you? Mommy, just believe me and everything will be fine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. When I want something, I go to the street of the my God. My God. His back is found on the side. Oh my God. I don't know what I see. Yes. 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 You know what I do, so, my dear? You don't know what I do, 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 my dear? What's up, Ebudi, now? How many times have I told you not to call me Ebudi? I am not a buddhi. I am not your a buddhi. Yeah? I'm here to see a disabled buddhi. A buddhi, a buddhi, a buddhi. All these sacrifices, so they don't talk anyhow. I'm sorry. You know my name, or call me director. Don't call me a buddhi. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, director. But director, you know you know this word now. Yeah? Huh? I mean, I thought you had a hot on Bianca. But looking at this, it seems like you and Charity are an item. Imagine see what they're saying. According to them, they say you guys are the hardest Nollywood couple. Charity! Charity! Come, come, come. Put this one. Charity! I beg, I will call you back. I will call you back. Director, take it to zero. Charity, baby. What's the meaning of this? Ooh, that. 
Are we not an item? No. I wish they had come to meet me for an exclusive. Then I would have given them the real story. Instead of writing this about us, as if our relationship will end like the others. You know this is the real thing now. In your dreams, I've told you there is nothing between us. Absolutely nothing between us. You can't tell me you don't have a hand on this thing, because I know you do. Give me some credit. I don't have time for that. But you know, the press, they only report what they see. And I guess they see love between the two. Now you listen to me. There is no relationship or friendship between us. Not to even talk of having a love affair. You just get that, okay? No more stories about an affair that you only have in your head. Have I made myself clear? Get dressed, you're getting on to set in five minutes. that you're sorry and tell me what in heaven's name I'm supposed to do. Do you have a mad sister and he conveniently forgot to tell me about it? Look, Bianca, this has to go down in history as the most embarrassing day of my life. God, me, a rapist? I mean, why would I have to rape anyone when I can have any girl I desire just like that? Kay, why are you questioning and answering yourself at the same time when we both know the character in question here is not yours but my sister's? See, I don't understand her. Half of the time, her mind and her head are in God knows where, and she says things that are not real. Then why don't you people commit her into a psychiatric home? Instead of allowing her to run wild, in, uh, embarrassing innocent people, and then calmly saying she's not well. Never. I thought you were from a responsible home. I mean, the daughter of a presidential aspirant? Oh my God. Look, Bianca, I am scared. I mean, come to think of it, we'll be getting married in the next couple of months. Kay! Yes. Look, I can't afford to have these fucking old children. Kay, you're taking this too far. I mean, my sister is just suffering from attention deficiency syndrome, that's all. Why are you going overboard with this? What do you mean I'm going overboard? Kay, look. Please. It's too early for us to quarrel, okay? I don't want fireworks. I only came here to chill for a while. Even if we need to quarrel, it's not a, it shouldn't be about my sister, alright? Anyhow, I think you guys should do something about it, alright? I can't afford to be embarrassed like that ever again. Never. And look at this. You just aren't looking at me when you know I'm so pissed off. I need to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Not here. How about what? <laughs> I promise, okay? I'm sorry. What are you saying? Did you hear that or you are just trying to annoy me? Huh? Don't you know that by now, everything that comes out of your daughter's mouth must be taken with a pinch of salt? Don't tell me you believe this nonsense about Kevin raping her. <sighs> Emma, I don't know what to believe anymore. I want to believe her. But these days, she doesn't make it easy. I mean, how can even I explain this her latest drama? And as if I don't have enough troubles, Coco Ma just packed her bag and left. And you allowed her? How, how can you allow? How can you allow such a thing to happen? Yeah? So you can't handle just two kids? How do you expect to handle the position of the first lady? Uh, uh, please, Emma, please. 
we are discussing our family matter here, not your political ambition. Oh, but you they all go hand in hand. I, I cannot afford to have a dysfunctional family. Where is he, Dara? Look, I must get to the root of this matter once and for all. Idara! Idara! Where is she? I don't know. Maybe she too has gone or something. I can't imagine this. You call yourself a mother and you don't even know where your kids are. Is it not so? Come on. Yes. No, I don't want to hear it. You said you are where? What is wrong with young people of, of, of your age nowadays? Now, just get into your car and get down to this house before I lose my temper. Has he paid your bride price? No. Has he introduced you? family to us? No. Am I upset with you? Yes. Am I sure it is the right person for you that we are not sure of? Now, so you listen to me, Kokona. You get into your car and get into this house before I get really mad with you. I don't want to hear that. Just get into your car and get to this house before it is turned down. Look here, Matilda. I want you to talk to your children, control them, because I don't want your children coming between my position. And that is the rock. I have seen it that I'm going to be the next president of this country. So the better you prepare everybody in this house for it, the better for all of us. Have I made myself clear? Stop. If anyone does not believe you, you know I do. You know I'll stand by you through thick and thin, and no matter what happens, I'll be there for you. This is not fair. It's just not fair. My sister thinks I'm standing in the way of her happiness. But all I want is for her to see that snake for what he is. I am not being mistaken. I know what I'm saying. I know that man. I know that face. I can recognize that face even in darkness. He haunts me day and night. How can I forget a face like that? Do you know what I've been through? Do you know what it feels like to have your first sexual experience through rape? Violent rape? So that was not bad enough. I got pregnant. My father beat the living daylight out of me and threw me out of the house. He said I got pregnant because I was being promiscuous. And now I find the culprit in the form of my sister's fiancé and nobody is listening to me. How can I make up such a story? Do you see when I say that anybody hates me? Huh? But I don't, honey. I don't. I love you. I've told you not to go over this story all over again since it hurts you so much to talk about it. Look, I, I believe you. And together we'll find solution to this. Baby, love conquers everything. With love, all things are possible. I love you. And I'm ready to fight for you. I understand how you feel. Oh, you don't understand, Jack! question. Have you been raped before? Please, huh? please Have you? No, I don't think so. Please, Have you been considered a liar by the people you love and trust? I know. No, please, you haven't. Have you been considered a candidate for Yamate Psychiatric Hospital? 
have it all? Oh, please. No, you haven't. You stand here and you tell me you understand what I feel when you don't even know anything. Why do you love me anyway? You say you love me, right? I just do. I, I, I don't know why. Baby, please, when there is no changing of the past, you have to let it go. So it doesn't eat you up. <laughs> just, just let it go. <laughs> Psychologist! Oh, you think this is your psychology class? Huh? My dear, this is beyond psychology. Are you losing my mind? And all you're telling me is to let the past go? Is the past not the bedrock of the future? Huh? How can I go on when this is in the way? How? What sort of future am I supposed to have? Baby, but, but you have a future with me. Look, I, I love you and I don't care about your past. It doesn't mean anything to me. You are all that matters to me, honey, please. Oh, you're not even listening to me. Why are you choking me with your everlasting love? Look, I'm sick and tired of it all! Alright? Ida! Ida! Cheta, come and eat. Food is ready for me. I'm not hungry. What was that supposed to mean? Don't tell me I went through all this trouble for nothing. Sister, I said I'm not hungry. What do you mean you're not hungry? Don't tell me this is about the episode I just witnessed a few moments ago. By the way, what was all that about? I don't want to talk about it. Please let me be. I need time to think. Think about what? Your stupidity. Isn't it time you came out of the clouds where your emotions have been for the past few months and faced the real world? I, I heard rape and uh, being sent out of the house. So I ask you for the last time, what was all that about? Idara was raped some years ago in school. And now she discovers that her rapist is about to marry her sister. She tells all her family nobody wants to believe her. So I'm helping her come to terms with the past. Remind me again, why this girl still comes to this house after the last discussion we had about her? I love her and I want to marry her. Her past is not important to me. It's the way I feel about it that matters. Did you realize you're very silly? Anyway, I will not argue about love with you anymore. I do not wish to see that girl in this house again. Not as long as I pay the rents in this house. However, if you wish to continue with this madness, do so in your own house where I will not be responsible for you. And be responsible for me does not give you the right to make decisions for me. Chetam, I've been doing that ever since our parents died. And now I'm about to help you make the most important decision of your life. And don't think for one minute that I'm going to sit here and let you destroy your life with a lunatic. Don't. Call her that again. But that's exactly what she is, Chetan. A stuck, raving lunatic. Or is it when she goes naked on the streets that you realize that she's a candidate for the psychiatric home? If you call her that again, call her and you scream at her! Chetan, you want to slap me? Chetan, are you mad? Are you mad, Chetan? I will call her whatsoever I damn well please. And don't make the mistake of bringing that girl to this house again. I want to help her come to terms with the past. Go out there and practice your psychology in some proper office and earn a salary. And for the records, don't you ever raise those hands on me again. Where did you learn that from, Chetan? Ida, are you really sure he was the one? How can I forget such a person? How can I forget somebody that caused so much damage to my life? Do you know it's a crime for you to accuse someone wrongly, Ida? Do you know that? How can I lie about this kind of thing now, Ebele? Do you know, sometimes you surprise me. I wonder if really you're my friend. Now, today where I know you, I am telling you now, today where I know you, 
Were you not the same person that accused Nonso when this incident happened? And you were damn so sure it was Nonso. Oh, for Christ's sake, this is different. Can't you see? I mean, as a matter of fact, they even look so much alike. I mean, so there's every possibility that I, 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 I mean, I could have been split the face or something. Uh, but this Kelvin's own, uh, I am 100% sure. Yeah, you are treading on dangerous waters. I mean, this is your sister's fiancé we're talking about here. Do you want to end a relationship with your sister forever? For just what you are killing Kevin for? All I want is to make sure that my sister doesn't marry one rapist for her husband. That's all. Why do you like causing unnecessary problems for yourself? Eh, Ida, please, just let it go. I am begging you as a friend. I beg. Eh, please listen to me now. Oh, Jesus, can't anybody just believe me? Do I have to be a lone voice in this wilderness? Huh? I saw the way he was holding you. Look, in fact, once we are married, we have to put an end to all this location nonsense. All right? I can't afford to have any man just touch my wife like that. Be he actor, director, supervisor, anybody I don't care.